Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Today is a rather special episode and I'm here to explain you why it is quite a long episode but please watch the entire episode. I have cut out a lot of footage. As you probably saw by the title of this zoo, this build is me building my zoo for the Arctic or like the mini zoo contest by Ravenscar. Now, if you don't know Ravenscar, Ravenscar is an amazing dude. His channel is Ravenscar Gaming. I think I consider him a friend of mine. Yeah, I could say that. And uh, I will link his channel down below if you haven't seen his, one of his video and you aren't subscribed, which I don't know why you're not because his channel is amazing. So go subscribe to him. And um, Basically, in his Discord, he had this zoo or like contest where you were to build a mini zoo with special, um, you know, there were like terms you need to do. So you need to have like one information shop, uh, a food shop, a drink shop, uh, a gift shop, toilets, you know, stuff like that, four exhibits, and then I believe three or four habitats, which obviously I did the habitats, I did a little bit more, gotta be honest. And I built this for a contest and now unfortunately I didn't win but I can say the person that did win um it's deserved because that zoo is really amazing so but as you may or may not have known because I talk about this like almost every time I'm currently in the process of moving when you're watching this video when I'm recording this video I'm not so this is pre-recorded and I wanted to show you guys how I built an entire zoo in one video now this video is 32 minutes long which is very 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 short because i had almost eight or nine hours of footage and that's insane and i like i wanted to do a very incredibly detailed zoo um it is not as incredibly detailed there are some details obviously and it's perhaps a little bit more details than i would normally build a habitat or a zoo but I actually really enjoyed doing this and it reminded me this entire contest were like, oh yes, details are actually worth doing because it makes your zoo look good. So there is that. <laughs> and I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. Now, um, because I had nine or eight hours of footage and only 32 minutes of you to show, of like to show for you guys, there will be a lot of cuts and um, I don't I mean like I'm sorry for that but I don't really need to apologize for that because it's logical I can't have an eight hour video on my channel and then talk over that that's just not doable just really not so I will show you fragments of things that I did and then I will give uh, comments on that and tell you guys what I did why I did you know etc 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 so to begin the theme of the zoo the theme of this zoo is an arctic petting zoo i don't know why it is that it just occurs to me i wanted to do something special i had a feeling people would perhaps go for more of a um desert style or temperate climate and i wanted to do something different and i thought well you know what it is spring so why not build a christmas zoo <laughs> know why i came up with that that's just literally my idea i was like you know what it's spring i want to do something different i'll build a christmas zoo that will work i mean it did work i didn't win but i did come up with some amazing ideas and some amazing architecture and i'm actually quite happy with how it turned out now everything you see in this video is built by myself and it took me quite some time and some um bits i just skipped over because you know for example the exhibits i place them unfortunately um we don't have any you know exhibit animals that live in the arctic so that really sucks so that meant that i had to use other so i just chose for um, north america exhibit animals but that kind of sucks though you know that kind of ruins the entire theme of your zoo as a matter of fact because i was really up for all this arctic uh people or like exhibits and now I just didn't get to do that so you know that sucks so right now we are building the um, shops and this is actually a hats fantastic that we are having we are having a monsieur frit and a coffee because you know you're gonna need hats because it's cold so you want hats otherwise your ears are gonna freeze off and you're gonna need coffee and, f and fries because it's winter and you need something warm obvious right <laughs> 
And then I use these little uh, mud piles to um, sort of act like ground because obviously this is floating. This is built above the entrance. And in a minute I'm going to figure out how exactly I will want it and how it's all done. And um, I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh right, yeah. We are also going to use the artificial snow, so the snowy rocks. I finally found a use for them. And here we are actually uh, starting with our first habitat, which is the doll sheep. We mean like we're going for a petting zoo, so we need kind of like uh, petable animals. And I feel like these are the only animals that you could actually pet in the zoo. But you know what? That's not important right now. What is important is, you know, how I built this. So doll sheep are known for their climbing. They need climbing. And a lot of people always forget that in Planet Zoo. They give the doll sheep a very flat habitat. And I'm just like, no, this is a doll sheep. It needs climbing material. It needs to be able to climb on rocks and trees. It needs to go up and down. And I actually think that I uh, delivered on that, if I'm honest. Oh yeah, and here I'm just attaching the habitat slightly, just to make sure that it's just a little bit better. And now across the entire zoo, we are actually going to use this fence. Fun part is we're even going to have grizzly bears and uh, wolves and snow leopards. They can't go over this fence. So, you know, that's nice because it is obviously a petting zoo. So we're going to need some lovely fencing. <laughs> And this very tiny fence will be able to stop a wolf, a leopard and a bear. Okay, just so you guys know that. Um, if you ever need a petting zoo style zoo, use this fence. Because animals can't be uh, aren't able to cross it. They can't do that. So that works. And I have to say, the amount of detail that I put in here with the foliage as well. So obviously we are filtering by biome. If you are uh, willing to do landscaping, Make sure you filter by biome first. And after that, you're gonna always add some of other biomes. But first, decide on your biome. So since this is an Arctic paddock zoo, we are going for the um, tundra and the, not the Arctic, tundra and taiga uh, biome. And we're just making sure that we have those biomes selected in our nature. From that, you are going down. Like you don't want too much um, wood and trees in the habitat. You want to have a little variation of plants, of trees, of rocks. I feel like I should make a video on this, how to actually build a good habitat. Perhaps I should do that one time, once I moved. I can't really be asked to do that now because I'm in the stress of moving, but um, I will remember that and I will do that later because that's actually quite important. Same with rocks. Filter them by biome. Make sure that they fit together. They're in the biome for a reason. Because they work. You can see it here. We have the tiger rock. And the tiger rocks are really well mixed with the... Um... Oh, I keep forgetting it. Tiger and with the tundra rocks. But also with the temperate rocks. Because they're very, very similar. So remember that. Sim temperate and tiger and tundra match. Okay, remember that that's very important. If you ever want to build good rock foundations, do that. So here we are just adding some rocks and you know, we just want to add some greenery as well. We don't want to add too much because we want it to look natural. And since this is a uh, tundra climate, there aren't going to be a whole lot of plants because it's so, so, so cold. So keep that in um, mind as well. You can't just go place plants everywhere. If you want to do that, go for a tropical or a temperate biome. And that's of course me going my biomes. If you want to have a tundra uh, climate full of plants, go ahead, be my guest. I mean, like it's your zoo, but I'm just giving you some realistic tips. And I feel like um, if you follow them, it will be quite amazing. So here you see me building this little rock formation for them to go on. They actually can go on it. So that's quite cool. Same with logs, they can use the logs, so you can use those. And again, like, um, it's not going to be snowy all year long. Like, I, I did actually want to build in the snow as well, because then I can't really see what I'm doing. So we are using these uh, snowy rocks. We are using them as fake snow along the outer sides of the actual habitat. So you get the illusion that there's snow. But there isn't actually, it's a rock. So even when it's about summer, you will still have snow, but your guests won't complain about, oh, it's so cold. So that's actually quite nice. 
And right now we build a little roof terrace next to the shop. So we are going to put some um, shade on there, which protects for the snow, but also for the sun. And in the end, we are actually going to have a uh, monorail back there, but we won't do that now. That's an issue for later. If I even put that in this video, I can't really remember. So here we are working on our second habitat. We have built pathways. And if you want to have a full zoo tour, um, I think I might do that at the end of this video, actually. Yeah, why not? I'll do that at the end. So you won't have any... Um... Yeah, what the heck? I'll just do a zoo tour after this with my own zoo. It will be perfect. Actually, I'll build a zoo tour. Um... I won't do it after this. You will get some cinematics. And I will do, zoo to, uh, will do the zoo tour on one of my zoo tours on Monday. Might have already done it, might not. Not sure yet when I upload these. So if I say this and it's already aired, uh, sorry. <laughs> and otherwise, you can look forward to it. So because the, penguin, uh, or the penguins are from the uh, aquatic pack, I use the aquatic rocks because I simply forgot we had those. And then I filled it by pack and I was like, oh, wait, we have this. And I actually love them because those rocks are colorable. You can dye them every single color you want. So we use them a little bit of darker, so they kind of match with the uh, uh, tundra rocks. I quite like that. And then, you know, adding the fence so the penguins can't escape. And then we are building the penguins a little ice uh, palace. I may or may not have been watching Frozen when I built this or listening to the soundtrack. Uh, spoiler alert, I did do that. It was so much fun. I, I want to start clips of me doing that because um, I, I have a pretty good voice, but I'm not going to win idols, okay? Let me just leave it at that. We'll, perhaps we'll do Twitch syncs uh, on stream one time. If you didn't know, I do have a Twitch channel, it's linked down below. I, I stream on there sometimes, but once I'm fully moved, I will be able to stream more often because I have my own home and I can be as loud as I want. So you see right now we are building uh, this little rock uh, scenery thing. Also trying to hide the roof from the information center because that's coming through there. And I'm just like, uh, let's just cover that up and then put some trees in front of it and no one will ever know. See, it's almost like it's invisible. <laughs> and then for this, I wanted to make it look like there was snow actually flying towards it. So you'd have like build up of snow. And I actually feel like I did quite well. Even if I say so myself, I'm actually quite happy with it. And then you gotta put the little plants in there. You can see them actually from the other side. Now, sometimes um, when you load this zoo and you wanna play with it, sometimes the guest will try to look at the penguins from behind the ice wall that you see there. I don't know why, because that's the entrance, but they will stand there and try to look at the penguins, which obviously will never work. Ah, yeah, so here you see me building this little uh, rock nature scape which i do more often you know i put some rocks together and then once it's done fully done so we had like the taiga the tundra the snowy and the icy rocks to you know give a little bit of an ice feeling and once that's completely done we group it up and then we actually place it in the habitats and we use that in all the habitats habitats well habitats just to make sure that um, it fits together and all the habitats belong together, you can see that there's unity. Because, you know, in unity there's strength. That's that's actually very true and I that wasn't just me quoting Riverdale. Or was it? <laughs> it was, but it's also true. I'm in a very good mood for this video. I'm just, ha! Huh. I want to say that's exceptional, but it's not exceptional because I'm in a good mood more often. But okay, well... You know my drift. So here we are building the third habitat. And the third habitat, let me just take a sip of my water. Hang on. The third habitat that we're building is the habitat for the polar wolf. Arctic wolf, I have to say Arctic wolf. And again, I was kind of curious if I used this, if it would work on the wolf because I could imagine it working on a doll sheep and a penguin. But it also works on a polar wolf or an arctic wolf. So, you know, that's good and all. So, huzzah for that. And then we use some of the normal fencing or like normal, the ones that we also used for um, the building frame, the main, main building. We use that kind of like a fence to set up the entire surroundings. And I actually feel like it works quite nice. So here we are going to build this amazing water feature you know me, I'm like the queen of waterfalls. I like to call myself that. I'm actually 
Uh, it sounds really cocky to say about yourself, but I'm really good at building waterfalls and doing landscaping. I feel like I'm probably... Uh, people are gonna hate me for saying this. I feel like I'm probably one of the better landscape artists out there for Planet Zoo. And um, obviously people should watch me for that. <laughs> Oh, that sounded so incredibly wrong. That's not the way I meant it. I just meant that I'm actually really good at landscaping. At least I think so. And I feel like people could always learn a great deal about how I landscape. So I should probably make a tutorial about it. I should write that down. You know what? I'm gonna write it down right now. Otherwise, I'm going to forget it. And while I write it down, you can enjoy this lovely waterfall making with stones and ice. You know, you put a little, little ice blocks also on the water because you know we're in a uh, tundra biome so it's incredibly cold so water is frozen so if you put little blocks of ice in between it actually looks like there is frozen water obviously and that actually works together tutorial landscaping i'm just gonna call it like this and then i know what i need and obviously the game behind it because i play more games with landscaping planet zoo so here we are building this enclosure. Now I used to do this trick all the time when I was uh, first started planet, playing Planet Zoo. I just built a swear and then I put rocks all over it and then I removed the uh, the lands in between. You had a perfect circle. I felt like for these uh, Arctic wolves, it was actually quite uh, a good way because it's really sheltered. And now we're gonna put snow everywhere first. And then I was like, wait, I don't want to have snow everywhere. I want to have patches of green. And then I want to have some broken tree trunks in there. You know, and I want to have them in the ditches. Like, actually, I love the way that this habitat turned out. And I'm so... I was just so happy with it. And I can kind of say, like, I hope people look at this and they're like, oh, that's so amazing. I'm so jealous because look at this moss feature that I'm building. I feel like this is probably one of the better moss features that I have built so far. And I'm really, really happy with it. And it's quite weird to say that, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And then obviously all the little uh, plants that you are placing, sunk them in. Some of them are really sunken in, so you just see a little bit of, you know, top of branches, otherwise they're a bit more pulled out, so you see more tree trunks. And I absolutely loved or loved the way that it works and here we are um quickly searching over to the reindeer habitat and i was wondering if i should connect it but in the end i decided not to do that because it looked ugly so this is a reindeer uh home um it is my own blueprint i built that so that's fine and it's a christmas home and i wanted to have like a, a reindeer habitat surrounding it and then i was like well you know what i still need to build two more exhibits because we need four exhibits so i'll just place them in here i had no clue what to put in there by this point because obviously um you aren't we don't have any arctic exhibit animals in the game planet zoo could we please get an update for that because now you can't put any exhibit animals in arctic zoos or you have to build like a subtropical pot. Which in initially was actually my plan to build like an underground cave, which have like um, heat in there, like the warmth, warm animals, you know what I mean? Animals from a different biome. But I just didn't have space to go underground because I um, built so many habitats already. And I was just like, well, you know what? We just ain't gonna do it. And obviously, um, you know, this video has already been torn by Raven Scar itself. That's why I'm posting it now, because I didn't want to post it before the end of the uh, contest, because I feel that's a little bit weird for me to post my video while he hasn't really shown any of the builds yet. That would be a little bit weird. So, And Raven Scar actually really loved um, this reindeer habitat. And I'm just like, what, really? Because this reindeer habitat, I put so little effort in that. I mean, you can see it here. I just put some water down and then put some coolers down, had a little bit of snow, and then I'm just putting some grass there. And then in a minute, it's just going to be enrichment items and a few trees. 
But I do see, like Riven's card said that he really liked the uh, the water for like Riven. I do see that. I mean, like the river itself, I love that. And I feel like the river in combination with the home is like one of the strong sides of this house. So I do agree with that. Um, but for the rest, um, personally, my favorite habitat is the wolf habitat because it has a waterfall. And after that, the penguin. And I'm gonna need to take a sip of water again because my throat, man. Whew. Yeah, so if you guys didn't know, I'm pre-recording this in the spring break. But that's also the time that I, um, well, I was sick. So I had a, you know, I have hay fever. Plus I had an allergic reaction, so that doesn't really work. And it really plays on my throat and my nose. So, you know, I'm having a cold that results in. And um, so having to talk for very long amounts of periods of time really sucks. And I've done a few zoo tours today as well. So, you know, I'm just talking, talking, talking all day, which is fine because I love to talk and I'm really, really good at it. But sometimes it's a bit of a strain on the voice. So there, you see what I mean? Like this, this habitat is very basic. It's just plants. That's it. I actually can see how simple it can be to make uh, a habitat that other people will consider great. While I will just consider it eh. Same with these rocks. I didn't really think about it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to place this little uh, icy rock there just to have it look like it's a little bit of still ice on the water because obviously we're in a cold uh, environment. So the water would be frozen at the edge. That's all I really thought. <laughs> and I'm actually really happy with it. So here we are building our second habitat. You can see as well that little fence is able to hold a bear. And these are normal bears. These are grizzly bears. So that little fence is able to hold back a grizzly bear. And I'm actually quite surprised about that and quite happy with it as well. So, I mean, it saved me from actually building an entire a new kind of gate or fence. Yeah, I didn't tell, I didn't say that yet, but this uh, contest, I basically had like a few, like I think two or three days left before uh, I needed to submit it, and I was just like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll will participate. So yeah, I participated and I built this. I literally built this in two days. Well, that's not true. Two and a half days. I built this in two and a half days. And that's not a lot of time. Usually I spend a lot more time. Usually I spend an entire week on one habitat. I just look at it and then I, I close the game and the next day I go back and I change a few things. You know, that's how I built. But with this, um, I built an entire mini zoo in a day. Time-wise, I built like eight hours so that I could do that in one day. And that actually um, came to me with another fun challenge that I want to do with myself. Um, I want to do with myself, whoa, that I want to do myself. Once I moved into my new home, I want to do a uh, Twitch stream or YouTube, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I do, I think I'll actually go for Twitch because I already have a Twitch audience as well. You guys on YouTube here, you can just head over to Twitch, I think. Yeah, no, link is in the description down below to my Twitch channel, subscribe already. And I want to do a Planet Zoo stream. And in that Planet Zoo stream, I want to build an entire zoo. And I don't want to stop streaming before I build this entire zoo. So um, if I were to build a mini zoo, for example, I would be there for um, eight hours, eight to nine hours. Okay, let's just say that I, I built this in nine hours. So let's say, well, no, nine hours, give or take. If I were to give myself a bigger challenge, I would say like, you know what, I'm building a uh, city zoo and I want it to be this big and that's what I'm building today. So I would only be able to stop streaming once I finish the entire zoo. And that is with all the details. So with uh, benches, bins, lights, every single thing in it. And I thought that would actually be quite fun. And, um, you know, uh, I mean, 
know what you guys think about that and uh, we will do that once I'm fully moved in, have internet set up and um, actually have a right amount of time for it because obviously I'm not going to do it on the day when I have to work the next day because knowing me I will go completely into details and it will take me like 20 hours to build. <laughs> that would be awful. Yeah, maybe I could even finish my Red Tail Zoo on stream then. Like stop streaming when my zoo is done. <laughs> That'd be fun. It'd be awful, but it would be very, very long. But it'd be fun. Anyhow, right now we are working on uh, the second to last habitat. And this is the habitat for the snow leopards. Now the snow leopard was a uh, maybe animal on my list. I had a list of animals that I wanted to uh, place in, in there that could live in these habitats. And this one was a maybe. I was like, you know, if I have space, if I want to, and actually really like it. And I'm a big fan of natural habitats. I don't like uh, a lot of buildings. I do want to challenge myself with building a zoo that has like a lot of buildings. But I am more of a natural. So put a fence down, put some rocks over it, and it will look very natural to the animal. I've always been more of a natural gal. You know, that's just who I am. <laughs> And this habitat as well is going to get a lovely little waterfall, a bit smaller than the um, Arctic wolf, but it is going to get a really lovely waterfall with lovely rock work as well. But we will see that in a minute, I think. I think I left it in here. Like I edited this video like uh, a few weeks ago already. I was like, yeah, I'm going to record this. And then I was like, wait, I should do that um, once Raven Scar's context actually finished. So it's finished yesterday and now I am recording this video. So again, we are at the Arctic, so we are gonna put some snow and then uh, put some coolers down and then in a minute we are going to adjust it slightly so we have a little bit more green. And then we have this rock um, features, which we also use by the penguin and the other uh, habitats to keep it into unity. And we're actually going to place some waterfalls uh, in there and then the little splash you know, just to make sure that it actually looks nice. So you have this lovely little waterfall feature. And I quite like it. And it's using some trees from the surroundings. And I'm really, really happy with the way that this habitat turned out using the fake snow again. Now you can see here how much I've skipped in footage because there is so much that I've done. And I was like, well, I could make it into a series, like uh, do one habitat, bring it out every week. And I was like, yeah, but I kind of don't want to do that because I just built this entire zoo and I'm wanting to show it off. And I actually, when I first finished editing, I had a video that took like uh, an hour and 10 minutes. And I was like, no, I need to reduce it to at least half. So it's now 30, 32 minutes. And here we are at the last habitat. Now, this last habitat is going to be the uh, American bison. And again, we are putting in some little waterfall feature uh, with the ice rocks. And you can see when it's all done, you will see how uh, beautiful the ice actually works. And again, like um, either the zoo tour has come out already or it will come out, I'm not quite sure. Um, and I'm actually really happy with the way that it looks. And I will uh, explain to you guys a little bit more about the ice details that I have in that video. So don't you worry. And here we are building uh, a little bit of a shelter for the uh, American bison. And I didn't put this in the video, but after I finished this, I went back in and I put lights on every single beam, like everywhere. And I didn't want to put it in the video because it was so tedious and it almost took me like an hour to do that. And I didn't, I didn't record it as well. So, you know, don't worry about that. Oh, so it actually took me 10 hours to completely finish this zoo because the hour for lighting. Oh, well. And um, so this zoo at nighttime is so, so, so pretty. You will see that um, in the zoo tour. Um, so, you know, you're going to have to stay tuned for that. But trust me, it is very, very beautiful. And I believe, guys, um, you know, we're just going to put some rubble here. I don't remember. I placed another water feature across from this habitat, but I don't remember if I put it in here or not. So I think it might just be the habitat of the uh, American bison. And I really love the way that I use this. 
And normally people always combine bisons with other animals and I don't like to do that because I like to give bisons their own habitat and they're very interesting animals actually. I quite dig them, they're really nice, they have a lot of interesting plants that you can use in the habitats. And they're actually really big, they're way bigger than I remember. I actually used them only once in my red tail, no, in my woodland zoo. Uh, the entire playlist of the woodland zoos on my channel, so go check that out if you haven't already. And I actually really like the way that it turned out. I mean, I have to say that... Oh, I did put the lights in. Oh well, I so I did recall that. I didn't remember that. Whoops. Now, obviously it is my own zoo. So I'm gonna say, you know, I like it. Or maybe you built and you're like, oh, I don't like anything that I built, I hate it. Well, I'm not like that. I love everything I built because I put my heart and soul into it. And I'm actually really proud of the stuff that I built as well. And I hope you guys have been uh, looking at this video and watching this video and thinking, wow, I really learned something. And you know, she's got passion, she's got spirit. Um, Maybe I'll subscribe to her channel and see what else she makes. Uh, that'd be lovely. But even if you don't, I just hope that you uh, learn something about how you could build yourself. Because I just want to, I want to transfer my knowledge because I actually feel like I have quite some knowledge about uh, building about relatively cool ideas. And I just want to give you guys those ideas. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll look at it at night with my own custom um, Christmas trees, by the way, they're on the gallery. So guys, uh, that was it for this video. Ah, see, I did build a feature. I am actually gonna leave you um, with some end cinematics, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'll put some end cinematics for you guys in. And some begin cinematics as well, I'll go record. I was wondering, should I do it, shouldn't I? But I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna go back in game and record those. And then guys, I am uh, actually gonna go and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you get notified for more uh, videos. I upload two times a week. So stay tuned for that and I will hope to see you on the next one. Well, that's it for me. Goodbye.